Good morning, y'all. So we're going to be working today in our Google Calendar. I wanted to share with you how I meal plan uh, using my Google Calendar. Now, I am a, let me take my glasses off. I am a paper planner for sure. And I actually thought about asking for a Curio planner for Christmas for next year. Um, but what I think I, what helps me too, because I do love the carry L's. I really do. And I think my kids would get it for me. Um, but what I want to do is make sure that I can uh, have my meal plan with me all the time. I know Sarah over at Our Tribe of Many and Jennifer over at A Country Life, they do monthly meal plans, which I absolutely love. We don't have a problem cooking. Sometimes we just have a problem figuring out our schedule. And then by the time we're thinking about what to cook, it's already late. So I wanted to bring up my One Mom calendar and show you how I plan to meal prep. Now you'll see some things on here that um, you already know. So there's nothing here that I'm shouldn't be showing. Um, right now I have my weekly grocery hauls. They go up on Thursday, so that's always a given. And then bu budget updates they go out on um, Sundays. The greens are your calendar, uh, you know, normal calendar events. This check Canva, I actually need to remove, delete this whole, I'm going to remove it, this and following events. I do Canva every day, so that is irrelevant now to life. So what you see before you now is my actual calendar, and what I'm going to do is start to uh, meal plan, using the meal plan that we came up, yes, came up with yesterday after we did the grocery shop, right? So I wrote down everything in my... Uh, traveler's notebook right so I have it in paper I always keep my traveler's notebook with me in my purse but I actually want to have this in my phone you know I'm using my phone all the time for everything so today is the 11th it's veterans day and I know for sure we're having barbecue chicken we're having greens and cauliflower with cheese so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the 11th right I'm just going to click it's going to say no title so what I want to do is I want to go to more options. I like going to more options because it lets me see everything I want to see at one time. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to write in barbecue chicken. And then I'm going to have greens and cheesy cauliflower. Now that I have that in, what I'm going to do is make sure that all day is selected. I'm not going to repeat this meal because this is just a meal we're going to eat once. Then I'm going to move down. I want to add in some additional things to this. So I'm going to scroll down a hair. Move me out of the way a second. All right, I'm going to scroll down and then I want to add in. Okay, I want to change this coloring, right? So I want to make all of my meals one specific color. So I'm going to do, can't do orange, that's budget update. Can't do green, that's weekly grocery haul. So I'm going to do banana colored for meals. Um, down here, I'm going to just make myself some notes. So when I actually pull up my calendar for the day, this will tell me anything I need. Like if I need to purchase something, if I forgot something at the grocery store. So I'm going to say this is using... Wings, fries, and leg parts. I'm also going to say uh, sugar free BBQ sauce and we can start this meal around. Five. Jackson has um, Taekwondo tonight. And then I also want to add in, uh, I want to do some keto biscuits. I think I have everything I need for that. However, I'm going to need to do, I'm going to need to get some almond flour.
And once I have that in, once I have everything in that I need, I'm going to click save. And once I save, I'll move me out of the way one more time. Now you can see that my meal is there. The only thing is I don't like that yellow color. So I'm going to change that. I right clicked. I'm going to change it. Let's try this aqua color. I like that a lot better. So now that I've done that, I've got my meal on for the day. I can click on it. Just quickly click. And now that's going to give me everything I need to see about this meal. What my sides are, what, I, what pieces I'm using, the barbecue sauce, the biscuits, and that's just a meal at a glance. Okay, so I've got barbecue chicken on for today. Tomorrow, Friday, we're having pork chops and apples. So I'm just gonna go in, make myself a note under more. This is gonna be pork chops. And apples. Um, I'm gonna change, nope, I'm leaving that. Um, down here, I'm just going to put uh, use apples in the bin. Um, bake using golden monk fruit. But we are doing we are doing keto, but of course, apples are not keto. What we're doing low carb. We're doing low carb, but I got to use up what I have. So I'm going to use what I have there, and that's going to work out for me. All right, y'all. So I have the pork chops done. The next thing I'm going to do is look at my Saturday. Saturday, I already know, is pie night uh, because that's already been planned out by my wonderful child. So pie night, and we're doing a savory pies. Make sure that all day is uh, clicked or checked. That way it's going to be able to um, stay in, stay uh, selected all day or you'll be able to see it all day and it, was, it will not fade away. If it's just for a specific block of time, it fades away at, as time progresses throughout your day. So we're doing pizza pie. And I'm going to order that from Domino's because that's what's close to us. And then I'm going to do either a keto shepherd's pie or chicken pot pie. I just got to get this weight off of me. That's all I am saying in Jesus' name. So I'm going to everything there looks good. Uh, oh, goodness. We probably will need to have paper plates. So I need paper items. I need to make sure I have plates. Utensils, napkins, and drinks. I know some of these things we have in the house, so I don't have to rebuy them. But as I'm going through, and if I have to stop at Walmart or whatever, I'm looking at what I need to get and then what I already have. Okay, um, moving forward. So I'm going to save that. So I've got, let me just move us up a little more. Okay, that's it. Well, move us down. We'll move us over here. So I've got my savory. Um, I've got pie night. So I'm going to the 14th. And I'm going to go to more options. This is Sunday. So I'm doing filet chicken breast with spaghetti squash. So this will be. Mm -hmm. be Alfredo uh, yeah. and the spaghetti squash. You know how to spell, I promise. Okay, so I'm going to do a homemade And what are we going to have with that? Some type of greens. We're going to have greens as a side. I've got that done. Then I'm going to save because my color is done. Um, Monday night, I have 
Daughters of Grace, and I have Salvation Siblings. So Monday night's just going to be a leftover night. Yeah, we don't even have. Yeah, Monday night is just going to be leftovers. I'm sure there'll be something that's left over. And I'm just going to put on here, clean out the fridge. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five meals. Um, Tuesday night is going to be shrimp tacos. Shrimp tacos, and we're going to use the um, low carb tortillas. Um, I do not have lettuce for this. I don't have that, so I can get that from Aldi. Um, but I have cheese. I've got everything else I think that I need for low carb tortillas. Uh, shrimp tacos for taco tuesday save and my last meal did i have a last meal no i think that took us through so that's one two three four five six meals wednesday we need i don't have a meal for wednesday but i know it needs to be quick so i'm gonna put quick edit that because that wasn't what i meant to do we need a quick meal so this is either going to be Instant Pot or Crock Pot and probably a soup of some kind because that's the easiest thing to do on a Wednesday. We need to have it already pre-made and then I'm just going to hit save. This is also my grocery shop day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in um, a repeating item for grocery shopping day. Always go on Wednesdays because it is um, the day that the sales roll. I'm going to put that in vibrant purple and I'm going to make that repeat um, weekly on Wednesdays because I go to the grocery store every single Wednesday. And what I want to put here is check ads for shopping. Um, List for stock ups for my preps. So that would be good. And because I've made it repeat weekly on Wednesdays, we now should see on my calendar, it now populates in for me on Wednesdays. So there it is, you guys. That's just a, meet, a, a week's worth of meal plan. Plus, I added in my grocery shop days. I hope that was helpful to someone. Sometimes I don't always have my notebook or I'll write it somewhere and I'll, I'll, I'll lose my paper, but I always have my cell phone. And so having my cell phone, what I'm going to do is then I'm just going to make sure that I um, pull up the day, click on my, you know, like I said, I can click on this meal and it tells me pork chops, right? That's what I'm having. And then the next night is pie night. So I already know ahead of time what my meals are going to look like. So anywho, I hope that was helpful. I hope it was helpful to see what it looks like putting it in your Google Calendar. I'm planning to do my Google Calendar each week or as things come along. Actually, I should have made my, um, I'm going to go back in and edit this for my quick meal. I want this to repeat weekly on Wednesday, right? I need that quick meal to repeat on Wednesday. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I can actually just go in and edit each week for what soup or meal or instant pot um, meal I'm planning. So it just works out. It's very helpful um, and easy for me to follow. So there it is, you guys, meal planning using Google Calendar. I hope that that was helpful. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We love to have you as part of our YouTube community. Thanks so much for stopping by. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.